Well, 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 back here to my libertarian, anarcho-capitalist game, starting Javier Milei. If you do not know who Milei is, he's a congressman here in Argentina, a anarcho-capitalist libertarian congressman that has a really good shot at becoming the very first libertarian president in the world here in Argentina. He has... His numbers are growing, his poll numbers are really good. So Javier Millet is getting really popular. He's smart, he's interesting, he's funny. If you are interested, you can find tons of content with Javier Millet on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, whatever. Wherever you, you want, you can find some of Javier Millet. I've been following the guy for almost four years now and I had tons of really good excellent moments with this guy he made me laugh a lot in those four years he wears a wig they say here in argentina so i'm i'm waiting to give him a nice new wig and paint his hair because he that that little melee i have in there doesn't look like the real version of melee so i'm going to give him a nice changing looks <laughs> as soon as I can. He came here alone after a bad surgery and he landed on this libertarian planet and he had to protect himself, survive by himself, build a nice little home. That, that's what he's doing now, getting some wood to keep building his nice anarcho-capitalist colony. And later came Jair Messias Bolsonaro, the Brazilian Trump, the myth, as they call, the right-wing president that just lost the elections to Luiz Lula. Yes, Lula is back in Brazil. There is a joke that the communists are back in Brazil. So I do not know what's going to happen to my country, and I really do not care. I do not take politics seriously at all. To me it's just fun, to me it's just entertainment. I have never voted. I voted once for Dilma Rousseff, that she's, she was a populist, she's still a populist as Lula, and I don't care, you know, I mean, I, I was in a good financial situation then, and I just thought, oh well, if Brazilian people want populism, let me give, them. Let me give populism to Brazilian people. <laughs> If that's what they want, handouts for the for the people and you know a good life for the parasites that are the politics. At any case, Dream World gives you an idea of what true anarcho-capitalism would look like. You know, as you can see, there is no state, no taxes. Nobody is going to force you to pay taxes. Nobody is going to throw you in jail if you do not pay your taxes. The market is truly free. You can buy or sell anything, including guns, weapons, drugs, clothing, uh, people. You can buy prisoners, slaves, and human meat. You can actually buy human meat. There was this talk in Brazil about Bolsonaro actually being a cannibal. So, there. That's politics for you. If it's that, if that's not fun, I do not know what fun is. <laughs> and Bolsonaro had to defend himself against those accusations that he wanted to eat an Indian, a native Brazilian. <laughs> that's how far people go in politics just to win. And Lula, well, Lula just wanted to be back because that guy never, never wanted to work. So he's just a parasite. At any case, Dreamworld is an excellent game made by Tynan Sylvester, a Canadian game. And you have tons of ideology here that you can choose. I actually chose individualism, of course, because that's the, the basis of libertarianism. The private property, as you can see here, is sacred. You must protect it with all costs, using actual violence if you have to. In fact, Bolsonaro, no? that just woke up. Good morning, Bolsonaro. <laughs> he came with a weapon. He came with a gun in his hand. He loves guns. So, 
so there download that game this game you can find it on steam we had a rating of 98 percent positive among 2000 users so you cannot go wrong with dream world i needed food so i'm getting some food here javier Millet is not good at cooking but he's decent enough i think the fact is sometimes you get sick your characters get sick if the characters that are cooking do not know how to cook so javier uh, bolsonaro is good at mining excellent and javier Millet just went to bed He's a night owl, such as myself. I cannot sleep at night, so I I can relate to Javier Millet. I cannot sleep. This game actually helps me because of the pace. I like the pace of the game. I'm not complaining. It's just that it's, it's a slow-paced game. I love it. I think it's great. I do not want any real change made to Rimworld. I think it's perfect the way it is. It's really entertaining, relaxing, the music and everything. So you cannot go wrong with this libertarian anarcho-capitalist game. You can find more about anarcho-capitalism if you are interested in the subject. No, I follow a channel called Sam Cedar and the Majority Report that has tons of, of debates with, with libertarians all of them really funny, interesting, entertaining, and you can learn a lot about what libertarianism is all about. Who would build the roads, for example? <laughs> they like to discuss the roads. There's a, a debate in, in there which I think it was really funny that a libertarian asked Sam Cedar if he should go to jail if he didn't pay his taxes and Sam Cedar said, yes, I think it should belong. You belong in jail if you do not pay your taxes. The libertarian got wild and started to insult Sam Cedar. And I think that's, you know, if you are free, if you praise so much a free word, free of thought, including, I would imagine, you would have the freedom not to be a libertarian and believe in taxes, whatever, you know. People are going to believe whatever they want to believe. That's nothing we can do about it. In Brazil, there is this whole talk that communism is coming back. So, you know, that's just crazy. Lula was never a communist. He was always a populist, a shameless piece of crap. That guy is just... I, I really dislike that guy, although I do not take him seriously, you know. I think people do. People believe that he's actually a communist. Ridiculous. At any case, try to download this game. Try, try to play it. See if it matches the ideas that I have that this game is actually a libertarian game. You know, there are, I've seen some discussions about Dream World saying that it's it's a communist game. Come on, where? Show me where. There is no, uh, unless you're talking about the people that are trying to take away your private property, invade you, you know, and transform this planet into a communist planet. I don't see communism in this game at all. I see libertarianism. I see private property. I see the use of guns, weapons. I see the free market as really free. And all, all of those are pretty much what libertarianism is all about. You know, you would have total freedom to be whatever you want to be, to do whatever you want to do, no restrictions from the state. In fact, the state shouldn't even exist to begin with. Really interesting game. And my two characters, I love those two. I think they are really funny. And that's it for today. It's almost 10 minutes. I'm going to recommend you again to take a look at Sam Cedar and the Majority Report to know more about libertarianism, to take a look at Javier Millet here in Argentina, see if my character matches the real-life Millet. I think Millet brought, is a breath of fresh air in Argentina as far as politics goes. You know, the man 
is really funny and interesting. I hope he has some nice debates with other candidates when we get closer to the election. Well, but that's it for today and see you in my next video. Zurdos, hijos de puta, tiemblen! La libertad avanza! ¡Viva la libertad, carajo! Folks, there's more of what you've just saw where that came from. That's if you hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you. Really, thank you.